for the sign of Pisces. Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. Page of Cups and the World card. Now the Page of Cups, it looks like there's a need to play, dream and have some fun. So it's showing that you probably, probably have been taking yourself far too seriously. You, maybe you've heard the saying that the one thing that you've learned over the years is the difference between taking your work seriously and taking yourself seriously. The first can be imperative and the second can be a disaster. That's a quote by a poet. So you have to know the difference, taking your work serious and yourself serious. Your work serious is important, but taking yourself too seriously, that can be a disaster. So the Page of Cups, it's paired with the World card. Now this World card is interesting. It's about completion. You probably have worked hard. You're almost in the finish line in some way, so it's important not to quit now because you're really close. You're almost in need of some well-deserved rest and relaxation when you get the world card. Don't be afraid to take it because you're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, if, it, if it's talking about work, this world card, there's a good chance that you're working far too hard for way too little recognition and money. So it's important if this is the case to blow your own horn, toot your own horn a little, just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your own, I'm sorry, just to make sure they, the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So with these two cards paired together, coming up page coming up for the um, present time, Page of Cups and the World card. You've completed a cycle. You're at the end of a chapter. You're closing a chapter. Uh, you're at the end of a journey. And it looks like um, it's going to bring you to a very playful place. Yeah, you'll feel like opening up your heart. You can feel like a kid again with this chapter that's closing. That's very, that's cool. I like that. I don't think I've ever seen these two cards paired together. That's really great. Closing a chapter and then you, you feel like a new kid again. And you just want to, you want to embrace life like you used to when you were, when you were younger. I like the, I like these two cards paired together for you, Pisces. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look at how they see you, the person you're dealing with. They see you like Judgment and Seven of Cups. Now, Judgment, it's a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and, of course, judgments that are too hastily made. If you know you're prone to doing something like this, it's a sign to slow down and give things more thought and give people more chances. This can be a time of spiritual awakening also, this judgment card. So this is one of the ways they see you. They see you as um, needing to offer redemption, forgiveness. Um, they can see you as someone they want to reconcile with. Or needing reconciliation now it's paired with the seven of cups seven of cups is about choices it can indicate confusion and it can point to disorganization because you got really really because you got too many choices too many options and you got too much going on so it's about narrowing your focus you're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very well so it's about choosing just a few of the important things that are on your plate. Work through them one by one. Carefully. You could be feeling overwhelmed. Remember that you're in control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. <coughs> so this is also how they see you. Seven of Cups. They see you having a lot of options. 
and you jump to a lot of conclusions. Yeah, so they can see you keeping your options open. Because you're not really offering any type of forgive forgiveness when there's a mistake. You're just saying, I'm going to keep my options open. I don't, I'm not, you say, I'm not forgiving this mess. <laughs> I'm not forgiving what you, said, what you just did. I'm just going to keep the door open in case I need to walk out. I have other options. That's how they see you. You're keeping the door open. you got options. And you're not really the forgiving type. So it can cause this connection to be on a make or break period. Probably often. And this is how they see you. So we move on over and we take a look at how you see them. Now you see them like the Four of Cups and you also see them like the Knight of Pentacles. The Four of Cups is about wishful thinking. You see this man, he's on the grass. It looks like he could be at a park. And he's just kind of he's just kind of stuck in his head real heavily. And I say that real heavily because his hand is bleeding. You don't see the blood on his hand, but I can see it. And he's just so stuck on just wishing his life away. He's not counting his blessings. He's thinking about what could be or what should have been or what what it could have happened. And he's missing out on life because he's just stuck. Yeah, he can't even get up to fix his hand. So this Four of Cups, like I said, it's about wishful thinking. It, it, rem it reminds me. It, it warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and the many blessings that we currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be because it's all too easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure that you're counting your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away because a lot of life, it has to do with where we put our focus. So try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you got to be thankful for. I'm sure there's something you got to be thankful for. So you see your person as having some regrets. Yeah, they got regrets here. And because it's with the Knight of Pentacles, which point it points to some type of message that's coming in. Somebody wants to reach out to you. Somebody's got something to say with this Knight of Pentacles. When you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance. So it usually, it often, it's not usually, but it, sometimes it's relating to money, this message but not necessarily you're likely to finally receive some type of news that you've been waiting on and the news is good news with the knight of pentacles really good news this is a practical card in the tarot it tells you to pay attention to the mundane and normal parts of your lives you probably heard the saying take care of the little things and the big things will fall in place well, the Knight of Pentacles, it asks you to take a look at how you're handling your affairs and, and much more. So, you see them like the Four of Cups we talked about. There's some regret there. They regret some things that happen. And they might be doing a lot of wishful thinking. Now, because it's with this Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles... Just to sum it up, it's about being slow and steady. Very stable. This is a very civil type. Yeah, very civil, slow and stable. 
practical. So, so you're, you see them as, with this Knight of Pentacles, they could um, realize that they need to put a stop to this regretful thinking and wishful thinking. But we'll clarify it more because the Knight of Pentacles is about someone wanting to reach out to you. Your person wants to reach, you see them as wanting to reach out to you. They got something to say with this Knight of Pentacles. But right now they're just stuck in their head. But they want to they wanna talk to you. And it's something that you would like to hear. Yeah, that's what the Knight of Pentacles is. But the, right now they, they're stuck. They're stuck in a comfort zone of just being aloof. With regret. And it could be considered to be in a daydream type, type zone. So... That's how you see them. Now, why it's happening, it's because of the Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. The Two of Pentacles could be about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is not your friend. Not right now. You may need to cut down on the things that you're doing in order to focus on two two main priorities. Your financial situation, it could need to be more balanced. So be sure that you're paying attention there. So why it's happening? We got somebody that could be a two-timer. They juggle. They got more than one. And the other reason is because of the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords, it brings a fairly upbeat and cheerful energy. It can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. You've got someone coming towards you again. Yeah, like we talked about this Knight of Pentacles. Someone wants to reach out. Someone's got something to say with this Knight of Swords. Now, it points to your physical and emotional energy being at a peak, this Knight of Swords. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. This is another card that's saying someone wants to reach out. So it's heavy in this reading. Someone really wants to talk. Really wants to talk in a positive way. So you're going to like what you hear with this Knight of Swords. You will. And it all, it's also showing that uh, there's a lot of activity, travel, being out, of, out and about this Knight of Swords. Getting things done, getting things accomplished. So you're unlikely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing. So it's about going after your heart's desire. So, okay, why it's happening? It looks like there's a juggler here. They either got several tasks, they're back and forth type of person, and or either they're two timer. They they like to be with more than one person. They're a juggler. But with this Knight of Swords, they're planning to take action toward you. This could be you or your person. It could go either way with these two cards here. They're coming in though. They're ready to take action. They want to. They want to be with you with this nine of swords. They want to sweep you off your feet, get close to you. They're a fast talking person with a lot of energy. So some messages coming in. Somebody's got something to say here too. <laughs> so why don't we recap this reading so that we'll get a full picture? We'll get the full picture. So for the present time, we talked about uh, the need to play, dream, and have fun. You got the world card here. Now you're closing a chapter. You're ending a cycle. And you feel great afterwards when the chapter is finally closed. 
you feel great. You just feel like a kid again. And your person, they see you as jumping to a lot of conclusions. They see you as having a lot of options or just keeping your options open because you have a hard time forgiving them. And I'm picking up this because they probably are a two-timer. They juggle. They got more than you. So you make sure you're making sure you keep your options open. The door is open. So you got choices just in case they really mess up. Cause you already know that they've got options and they, they go back and forth. And you see them as having some regret. They're kind of sorry that they mess up a lot of times with you. Or they feel they feel like they know they're messing up. So they, they're wishing that things could be a little different because you because they probably see that you're keeping your options open. Even though they they juggle, but it doesn't look like they want you to juggle. Or they don't want you to keep your, your door open. So they got some regret because they know they made some mistakes. But they're coming in as the Nine of Pentacles. They got some something. They want to talk to you. And they want to whisper some sweet nothings. Or they just want to sweep you off your feet with the Knight of Pentacles. They want to make things right. Okay. And like I said, you know that they're a two-timer. They juggle. They go back and forth. They probably got more than one for why it's happening. This two of Pentacles. And here they come again. They're coming back. They're charging in with the Knight of Swords. To make sure you don't run out with your other options. So they continue to try to make you stay. Because we've got them coming in twice. Really fast to take actions. To uh, make sure that they sweep you off your feet. Or give you messages of love. Something. But uh, it looks like because the world card is here. You could be closing out this cycle or thinking about ending it with this person. You could be thinking about it. There are no cards in in this reading that shows that you're you're walking away. But it does show that you're keeping your options open and you because the world card is here, it's meaning that you're thinking about closing this out, closing this chapter with this person. Okay? But it looks like they don't want to let you go. They keep coming back. It's in here twice. They come back, keep charging to come back in and make things right. And then they have a lot of regret. Wishful thinking that um, they can make things right with you. Because they see you have other options. And you're thinking about closing this chapter. You haven't closed it yet. But you're thinking about just, just leaving it. Leaving it all behind. And making it the end of this journey with this person. Because, like I said, you have options. They know it. And you could have a lot of fun. A lot more fun with your other options. That's why these, um, that's why the Three of Cups is here for the present time. Yeah, you could have a lot more fun. And they know it. And you've got other options. So you could be, I don't know when, I don't have a time frame, but you could be seriously thinking about closing this chapter out. That's why the world card is there. And they, it looks like they know they messed up. They know they've been messing up with you. And that's why they keep they keep running back. Trying to make things right. So, yeah. They do juggling. They, they have more than one. Two-timer. That's what that two of pentacles stands for. Yep. Yeah. So, good for you for keeping the door open for yourself. And looks like you could close this chapter out sooner or later.